Good evening, my name is Matthew Alonso and I'm working to tackle something called the global cooking problem. It's okay if you've never heard of that before. Two years ago, I didn't even know its name and I had experienced it firsthand. I visited my grandmother-in-law in Ecuador and walked into her kitchen in the morning into a cloud of smoke. Right there in front of me was a, a wood-burning fire uh, inside of her house. And I learned this was a burden that she shared with three billion people. Yes, billion with a B, and it's responsible for over four million deaths a year. The stored solar team and I at the University of Illinois are working on solving this problem using, you guessed it, stored solar thermal energy. So we came up with that solution by looking at the basic tenets of a wood fire. It's really, really hot, and this is what people are used to. And for someone to adopt a new technology, you need to not change their cooking culture. So we went and talked to people and we looked at what these wood fires were like. We looked at how they cooked and we found a way to store solar thermal energy at high temperatures to replicate a wood fire. From that point, we've been testing now, uh, charging these vessels and also cooking with these vessels. So here's what this technology looks like in action. We're going to cook a basic non recipe. And besides flatbreads, we've cooked meats, we've cooked rice, and all sorts of other different things. I can assure you, none of us in the lab have gone hungry as we've been cooking this delicious food on stored energy. So that's it, 60 seconds later, and we have none. And here it is from a different angle. So we're truly making progress, and we're almost ready. So now we need your help to bring this to the 3 billion people who are still cooking on solid-based fuels and suffering from indoor air pollution. We hope to see you at the big pitch and getting your help with creating our first commercial prototypes.